Hey guys, it's 101R Smith, also known as Reggie Smith. Today I'm here to bring you the review for Gunpla Network, the no grade 1100 Blaze Zaku Phantom from Gundam Seed Destiny. The building process for the Zaku Phantom is essentially a really big high grade. You're not really going to miss anything. Unfortunately, for the more experienced builders, you're going to be dealing with a lot of technical aspects. Such as seam line removal, inaccurate color due to a lot of stickers, and a not very complicated build. It should be fairly easy, taking no more than about three to four hours. However, this kit is definitely one of those older style kits that really highly suggest that you add in the extra work to do painting. For this review, I actually painted all of the white trim parts because all of those are stickers and I really didn't want to put in a lot of stickers. So that is going to take a, a bit of work, but if you're just going for a straight build, it's a simple enough build and will get you the overall effects, but just know you're going to be using a lot of stickers here. And even when you use the stickers, there's still a lot of color apps that are going to be missing. In terms of the overall look, I gotta say that the Zaku Phantom, especially the Blaze variant piloted by Rei, is one of the more colorful kits that I've ever seen in my collection. You got this very pale white, gray, purple, a little bit of pink, white, and this very pale flat red. It's definitely one of the more colorful mobile suits that you'll have in your Gunpla collection. And I'll even say one of the more unique looking ones. It's going to stand out a lot more. You'll be satisfied with how it looks. And everything that you would want it to be can look pretty well. And it's a really good looking kit. Even if you don't paint or add the stickers. It gets the look across. But obviously again, this is one of those older style kits that paint is somewhat highly suggested to use for the more experienced builders. Articulation is a bit lacking. Now this is a no grade from 2005. So I would compare it to a high grade from the late 2000s. No, I wouldn't even say late 2000s. I think even by the double O high grade line we were doing a lot better. Uh, you can get everything that you need out of it. You're going to get a single jointed neck joint, single jointed elbows, ball and socket wrist. The chest articulation is almost non-existent because it's just a peg connected to a small little polycap. And the waist is the old socket and peg that is used from like wing X. So... However, I will say that the leg articulation is a lot better than I expected. So the Blaze Zaku Warrior has that going for it. Overall, in terms of articulation, one of the more weaker releases, but again, no grade from mid-2000s. It's serviceable, but a lot better has been done and could be done. Accessories are definitely the strongest points of the Blaze Zaku Phantom, and you get a ton of them here. First off, you're going to get the original Zaku Hawk, Axe, and the old Machine Gun. You're definitely going to be getting the old Zaku Axe and Machine Gun. And these are done in a very glossy black. Again, some color apps are missing, but again, it's what was expected of its time. And it's a good looking accessory nonetheless. Now, the cool thing about this Zaku Warrior is there are no pegs. You just kind of open the hands, place the weapons in them, hold it together. I was pretty nervous at first because I was thinking that the grip wouldn't be strong enough. But surprise, surprise, the grip actually is strong enough to hold the weapons. It's not flip-floppy, it's not fidgety, it locks into place very well, which I thought was a bit impressive. The machine gun looks pretty well, especially when there's no stickers attached to it. And one little addition to the axe that wasn't in the original Zaku is that it comes with a beam effect part, which is very colorful and expressive, and that's a big bonus. Now, this is a Gundam Seed kit, so you know 
a big backpack. It's on its way here, and this is a pretty damn big backpack. It's easy to build, and I can actually somewhat get it to stand on its own, even with the backpack on. But you really are gonna want an action base in order to have it all together. The weight is very finicky once the backpack is on. However, you do get a lot of accessories and a out of it such as you're gonna get a bag of missiles that are attached to it that you can open up and the panels can move and the side pieces can move the way you want them to so it's a pretty decent accessory to have on the blaze Aku phantom the only thing hurting it is the necessity of the white stickers it is a pretty darn cool no grade kit it's the blaze Aku warrior you can add it to your seed collection you can have it with the Lunamaria Zaku, the Impulse Gundam, and the Savior. It's going to match up pretty well, even for a no-grade kit. You get a ton of accessories out of it, and it's going to look pretty cool with your Zaf team all together joined up in a unit, just like in the opening for Gundam Seed Destiny. The play factor also comes with the fact that it does have some pretty cool accessories, and you got a lot of versatility with it, despite the fact that this is a... I guess more of a long range mobile suit so you get a lot of play out of it and it's definitely gonna come with its buck my final thoughts for the blaze Zaku phantom is that it's not the strongest snow grade I've ever built this still holds up pretty well now granted nothing can beat a master grade and everyone was wondering are we gonna see a master grade of this and thanks to the fact that we're going to be seeing Izak's Blaze Zaku come in P-Bandai, I definitely have a strong feeling that we'll see this resurrected as a Master Grade in the not too distant future, especially since I think this year coming is going to be the 15th anniversary of Seed Destiny. Or this year, now that we're going into, is now the 15th anniversary of Gundam Seed Destiny. So, I would say, on my personal opinion, if you really need a Blaze Zaku Phantom for your collection or you want a kit to practice on painting, this is the way to go. If you can wait a little bit, because now that we have the Luna Zaku as the Master Grade and now we're going to get Ezax in the beginning of 2020, wait six months to a year for the Master Grade to come in. But if you need it now and you can't help it, this is a good no grade kit. I definitely give it at least a thumbs up. And it would look pretty cool with your collection. This is 101R Smith, and I will see you later.